In today's video, we will be exploring the best businesses for foreigners in the Philippines. These are businesses that have seen an increase in consumers and interest over the recent years. One area to always consider when starting a business in the Philippines is your monetization strategy. With this being said, let's take a look at some of the business opportunities for foreigners in the Philippines. The first option is a call center. Statistically speaking, the call center industry is one of the fastest growing industries in the Philippines. The only real competition from another country is India, but now we're seeing many companies across the world choosing to outsource to the Philippines. The forecast for the call center industry, aka business process outsourcing, looks promising as we look into 2025 and 2030. Due to the ongoing pandemic, many small and large corporations have seen that there are many benefits from outsourcing their operations. Another option is to open a beach hostel or a beach resort. There are rules and regulations regarding ownership of land and business, so you will need to put the land under the business name or under the name of a Filipino. Many experts in this field believe that the Philippines will become one of the leading Asian countries for tourism in the near future. One of the reasons why this could be a great business is if you're able to find the right location, the business can be profitable all year round. For example, as a beach resort, you could offer food, drink, long-term and short-term term stays, entertainment, vehicle hire, water sports and many other services. Another option is commercial real estate. According to business law in the Philippines, a foreigner can own land through a company. However, legally speaking, the foreigner will not own the land, but he or she will own part of the business, which in turn will own the land. One drawback to this is that the corporation must have at least 60% ownership by Filipinos. Commercial property can be slightly more diverse than traditional real estate and there are significant benefits from investing in commercial properties. Alternatively, you may be interested in starting an exporting business. Exporting can be a very lucrative business for foreigners in the Philippines, but this kind of business requires a great deal of research and careful planning. According to the Philippines trade statistics, a few years ago in 2019, the total exports reached 70 million. Many natural products are available across the Philippines for extremely low prices. A common exporting product in the Philippines are coconuts. The great thing about certain products such as coconuts is that they have multiple uses. For example, many parts of the coconut can be used for different types of products, thereby minimizing wastage and maximizing product usage. However, if you are interested in online businesses, you may be interested in becoming a travel content creator. Content creating can take many different forms, from blogging to YouTubing to podcasting to much more. On this channel, for example, I aim to support foreigners moving to Asia, but this is only one small niche in the travel industry. Some content creators, for example, attach a camera to their bodies and walk around the city, showing the audience what life is like on the streets. Although this may seem simplistic, it's often content that the audience wants. These videos can gain thousands of views each day, which could generate to a great deal of profit. I mention this because there are many different types of businesses for foreigners in the Philippines around content creating that is not necessarily traditional. As mentioned, I talk about moving and living in Asia, but there are many channels that have a much larger audience that talk about real estate, dating, etc. And there are many gaps in the current market for content creators. Of course, monetization is one of the most important factors when becoming a travel content creator. Earning money from advertisement is often the most straightforward form of monetization. Still, if you wish to earn a full-time living, you will need to turn a small blog or a YouTube channel into a business, including introducing new monetization streams. So before we finish, we're going to go through some handy tips that's going to help you along your journey if you're planning to start a business in the Philippines as a foreigner. The first tip is to hire an attorney. The next tip is to research local laws and regulations. For example, there are certain rules and regulations for foreigners when starting a business in the Philippines, but there are also rules and regulations within the industry. As a quick example, let's Let's say we're going to start a skincare business. We will need to obtain FDA clearance to ensure that the product is suitable for the general public and does not contain any hazardous chemicals. 
The next tip is to find trustworthy Filipino business partners. It is possible to own 100% of a business in the Philippines, but there are some circumstances where owning 100% is not possible. The good news is there are plenty of networking opportunities all across the Philippines to find a trustworthy business partner. The last tip I would mention is not to copy the locals. One notion that I admire about the Philippines is that they are incredibly intelligent. A mistake I have seen previously quite a few times in fact is foreigners copying locals. This is not the best idea as it's often much more manageable for locals to build a successful business if they have the proper financial backing. Instead, a better option is to create something in demand that is in short supply in the Philippines. This product or service should be something that could not be copied easily and is scalable. Remember that as a foreigner, you have a unique outlook and business experience from outside of the Philippines, which can help you build a successful business inside the Philippines. The country is not as developing as it has been in the last 20 years. However, some parts of the Philippines are still developing, and because of this, there is a great deal of opportunity for innovation.